Pompeo, Erica and her fish, back here with the Goldies after a water change. Monstro and Coco moved in together September 8th. Today is September 20th, and everything has been gravy. They swim together, eat together, do their own thing, but they do not bully each other. Yay! So, I'd like to take a moment to thank all of my subscribers, all 106 of you. That's crazy. Thank you. Thank you for joining us on our journey. We have definitely come a long way. Thank you. So a year ago, Monstro was by herself in a 38 gallon with the silk plants. And now she's in the 55 gallon live plants. We have a sponge filter helping. We have no problems with the cycle. I mean, that's all we had in the beginning was problems and sickness. And now all of our updates are mostly water changes. So we have definitely come a long way. Monstro is still with me. She will be six in December. Whoop whoop. Uh, Coco is getting chunky. She's going to be a chunker. I think her tail is just a little bit longer. And she seems to be thriving here with Monstro. I'm glad they like each other and they get along. Everything is just perfect. No bullying. No fighting. So this is another thing I've been wanting for a long time. A community with a betta. Definitely not for beginners and it took a while to find the right betta. And also my platies are about or over a year old. So bingo and blue I've had the longest so since April 2021. Dexter was born from Bluey who I rehomed and I think he's about a year old now. Uh, the mystery snail, I grew him myself. <laughs> so I got Dave on September 9th. I had planned to leave him in the breeder box overnight, but I awoke to him swimming around and the platies unharmed on the Saturday after, so that was pretty amazing. Um, he's coming into his color and I can't wait to see him grow. He's still a little bit small on his body, so he should get at least twice the size he is now and his fins should be spectacular. The blue coming in is just beautiful. And I got him for a steal. Someone mixed up his lids, not me, but I paid $4.36 for him when he should have been $21.99 plus tax. So the lady was just like, you've got the steal of the day, have a good day. Peace, I'm out, and that's the best thing ever. So they do their own thing, they don't bother each other. It's all good. So Ruthless got an upgrade too. Speedy got an all you can eat algae buffet. He cleaned this tank right up. The hang on back filter flow needed to be baffled, so I didn't want to run the sponge filter just yet because I need another flow valve and I don't want it to push her around right now because it is a big sponge. It's enough for a 40 gallon so it would be perfect to run all by itself. <clears throat> it's just... I'd just be throwing away that hang on back filter, which is something I don't want to do. Um, but for now, it's okay just sitting in there, uh, gathering bacteria, and it'll be good to run when I need it. Um, Ruthless is settling in great, 
and the bigger Anubius in the middle has a new leaf coming in. So that is good. And her heater says 83, but it's actually 78.5. So those free C heaters have to be set like two to three degrees higher than what you want it. Um, but with the 10 gallon, for some reason, it's just staying at 78. I don't think I need to push it to 80, so I've just left it alone. And those bubbles are coming from the 55 gallon. It's not in this tank. <laughs> so for Lilith I'm not too sure how she is liking it I am thinking of cutting some more of that old background the same as the 20 the Nightmare Before Christmas um, green it's a wrapping paper but <laughs> it's not reflective so it works and she always did prefer the green to the black background. Um, I tried to put a black background on her old three gallon and she flared at herself. So I put the green one on and she stopped. So I just left it even after Christmas. <laughs> and uh, I used it on the 20 gallon because I felt like without a background, it was too reflective. But I still feel like he doesn't really like it. So, I'm uh, just leaving it for now until I can do something better. I don't know what would be better. But so far she stopped flaring at herself. And she's pretty chill, really lazy. I added some of those silk plants to help fill in her space. Uh, she didn't have that many plants in her three gallon. But all in all, I'm happy. I am down to four tanks instead of five. So that is good for me. <laughs> so that is it for now. Thank you for watching. Erica and her fish. You guys stay safe.